it sounds amazing. Uh, since you are also in digital domain, uh, are there any DSP processing involved, yeah. in, uh, especially the laws? Okay, I can explain also if you want. So all our small units, small speaker, let's say the small Nova and this one, exist as a classical um, with passive crossover version and a signature version, let's say, uh, that is always delivered with its DSP. The DSP performs many things. It performs the crossover in the digital domain. Uh, we have a, partner a partnership with another French brand that is Trinov Audio. Oh. And Trinov brings us our uh, soft the software and uh, part of their hardware uh, that is in our own DSP. And so we are using Trinov Audio technology uh, in our DSP. So um, Trinov is really close from us. Um, let's say 15 minutes by car. We are really neighbors. So it was easy also to have this partnership. If it, par partnership. And the DSP from Trinov uh, software performs the crossover in the digital domain. Uh, the frequency curve linear, linearization, um, the phase rotations corrections, the time shift alignments, and uh, in our case, our DSP also embeds the amplifiers for the low, because we do not want our customer to have the need of buying another stereo amp for the low or two monoblocks for the low. It would be difficult, if you want, in this case, to sell speakers. So in fact, in our design, when we deliver a, a pair of speakers, de the DSP is part of it, and we plug everything together. We calibrate everything, the room and the system, of course, with the, uh, yeah. And, and then, uh, done. We, the, the customer use, can use his own source, his own amplifiers, his own DACs and everything. Uh, our speakers are installed almost like conventional speakers. It's really close. So I would say it's not active as the speakers themselves have no amplifiers in them. They are not plugged uh, on the mains. Uh, they are only receiving uh, the signal from amplifiers as when you are be amplified, if you want. And the low is in the DSP. So it's how uh, it works. The signal in our system, because now, of course, we sell speakers by, by themselves, amplifiers by themselves, music servers as standalone, and sometimes we also sell complete audio neck system. And when we sell a complete audio neck system, we sell mainly um, the amplifier we have here in the middle that embeds our DAX because this way we have, of course, uh, the uh, digital signal coming out ESCBU from the music server coming in the processor that processes it, coming out to the amplifier, always digital, and in the amplifier we have the DAX, and then the DAC feeds the um, amplifier stage themselves, if you want. So this way we, of course, get rid of the usual analog cable between the DAC and the amplifiers. It disappears, and also disappearing, it avoids some cable issues, as usual. Uh, and it's also simpler for the user who has this system because there is also a small uh, cost benefit because we remove one cable. And uh, there is also a listening benefit because this cable can only, as every time you put something between two parts, it can never improve. It can only destroy. The less it wastes the signal, the best it is. Like like a capacitor, if you want. When you have a capacitor on the signal path, if it's very good, you have very few um, losses. 
but if you have no capacitor at all, you have no losses at all. It's the same, the same logic, if you want. So it's how we proceed anyway, and it's how our system, uh, when, when we speak about the complete system, it's how it's, he, it is running. So all this uh, with one main aim, that is the pleasure and the emotion of the listener when it's coming to considering music playing, if you want. Our customers are all music lovers, and uh, it's for music lovers that we do efforts in order to satisfy them. Mm, we do not care about the kind of music they like, uh, we can play very loud, very dynamic uh, modern music. We can play the easy way a small quatuor of violins. We can play male voices, female voices, jazz or classical opera, whatever you want. Uh, the system is done so that we can play any kind of music, I hope, a very satisfying way. We hope so anyway. True speaker. Yeah, thanks. Um, uh, back to uh, DSP and uh, the low. Uh, normally, uh, the amount of low frequencies is depending on placement and size of the room and so on. Uh, is there any uh, possibilities to adjust the gain yeah. by presets? You know, of course, uh, it's more than this because uh, the user can adjust what we call a target curve. Yeah. So, in fact, depending on his own uh, likes, he can decide to adjust dB by dB all the resp uh, respon okay. response curve, if you want. Uh, so, of so, of course, this way anyone can adapt, not only to the room, because this is done by the sy system in itself, but for about, uh, adapting to his personal taste. Mm. And maybe sometimes adapting to his personal losses. When you go older in age, you could face some losses. So this way you can recover a little bit of your Amazing. own of your own losses, if you want. So it's, uh, it's where digital is really interesting, as long as it's this kind of digital we try to achieve that doesn't stress the music, doesn't yeah. stress the listener, is not sounding aggressive and is bringing the same human uh, content and warmth, I would say, uh, you know, uh, incarnation, than a very nice tube amp uh, can do, the same kind. Uh, we do not want digital to be etchy, to be aggressive and to be bad sounding. We, we still need yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This, yeah. This it's also very interesting that you have cooperation with Trimo because Trimo is used in music production in yeah. studios a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Absolutely. You work in with Trimo. Trimo. Yeah. So we are good friends yeah. and uh, we, good. we we sh we share nice a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we share a lot with them yeah. and uh, we thank them for the good job they do. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really nice for us yeah. to be partner with, uh, with them. Actually, it can tra transform a not too good sounding room to a marvelous sounding room. Yeah. And you then have marvelous yeah. speakers as well. Yeah. The result a is fantastic. Yes. Yeah, anyway, anyway uh, the room has to be decent in order to yeah. play music. Absolutely. Of course. The DSP can, can do everything. anything, everything is not possible. If the, if the room is bad, really bad, like a swimming pool. Mm. You <laughs> put a, yeah, a, a loudspeaker in swimming pool, the DSP you cannot uh, you know, manage uh, the, bad, the bad room. It can, it can almost do magic, not pure. Yeah, no, yeah. no, not at all. <laughs> you can play some music, the drum track. You oh, if yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Welcome to the software. So, thank you for your...